Here is a busted Cree LED DEL light bulb. This is really a shame that this is broken because this is one of very, very few LED light bulbs that I would probably be able to use without getting a headache or having any other adverse effects to the light. These are very, very good quality bulbs. They last a very long time and they have a very good quality of light. This is a 6 watts bulb rated for 450 lumens output at 2700K color temperature. So that would put this to be a 40 watts so-called incandescent equivalent light bulb soft white and it's 50 milliamps of current 120 volts 60 hertz there is a it's like a rubber or silicone type coating around the glass of this bulb and i'm not sure if that was there specifically to contain the glass in the event of a shatter but that is what that is what it has done and it's done so quite effectively this is very, very shattered, and it looks like all the pieces are still present. I wonder if this is glued in and can be replaced. It probably doesn't matter. I doubt you can find anything like this um, to replace it. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like inside. There is a little, little gap there, which is opening up. The bulb itself probably still works just fine, so I don't really want to take it apart because it's probably still good. And if you put it into a lamp with a shade, you likely wouldn't even be able to tell that it's broken. Now this is suitable for use outdoors in damp locations. And that's about all the information here that is meaningful to me. LED lamp. Cree. The Cree. This is all metal. This is metal here. This is a metal heat sink. These are very, very good quality bulbs. Unfortunately, Cree is no longer what it used to be. I guess the name is still around, but it's just a name at this point. The actual manufacturing is done by some other brand. I don't know when Cree stopped being a good quality bulb. But I think that these are probably at least in the 10 plus year old range by now. Let's put it into a lamp holder and see if it still works. It still works. And despite being busted, it doesn't really look to be, it doesn't look like it's busted while it's on. It looks pretty normal. Now, I have tested a couple other Cree bulbs of a very similar design to this in the past, and I was able to use them. This one, looking at it directly, is extremely harsh and uncomfortable to look at. That having been said, I can't detect any flicker from this bulb. And the color the the color the color ring, gosh, it's getting light. The coloring of the bulb is pretty respectable. Let's turn off the lights here so we can get a good idea of what it looks like. Well, it does look a little weird. It's not 100% indistinguishable from incandescent. I think the color rendering is is not the best. But it's not horrible either. I always look at all these screwdrivers, particularly these, because it has yellow and red, uh, which tends to blur together in poor color rendering conditions. And uh, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Let's see what our power consumption is. Let's get a little more exposure so we can see the meter. 0 0.05 the amps, 5.5, 5.6 the watts, 
power factor of DAT92, which is a lot higher than I was expecting it to be. A lot of these bulbs have a really lousy power factor. Let's see if we can identify any banding on the camera. Huh. Look at that. There is no banding on the camera. So, just as I'm perceiving it in person, there is actually no flicker to this LED bulb, which is very, very rare. So many of the LED bulbs I've tested today, you know, made in the last 10 years, they just flicker something awful, and you can tell immediately that it's a stinking LED bulb. All right, now that I've had this on for a minute, I'm not really finding it to be particularly harsh anymore. It's really just when I look directly at it that it looks, that it feels kind of harsh. Hmm. Let me turn on the inc another incandescent bulb here so I have something to compare it to. This is a very good bulb. Yeah, the coloring is not... 100% but it's like 95% on to where it should be. It's very it's very good just a touch off. And as far as the quality of light is concerned it's pretty respectable. See, I've got this other incandescent bulb here. I'm looking right at it and it doesn't even phase me. But if I look at this, I do feel like there's kind of a harshness to it. So I'm not sure that maybe this would give me a headache. I don't know what it is about the DEO bulbs that produce the headache. I used to think it was the flickering, but then, you know, there's other types of lights that flicker, like um, high pressure sodium and fluorescent, and those don't bother me. So maybe it's not the flickering. Now, I can see the flickering, and I think it's annoying. It's a visual distraction. I don't want to see it. But maybe that's not the cause of the headache. Maybe it's the blue light or whatever. I don't know. No idea. Maybe a, uh, what, what is an eye doctor called? A, uh, I don't know. Maybe an eye doctor can explain what, what types of, um, light output from DEL bulbs can bother people. Because although it's not a particularly common issue, there are definitely plenty of other people that are bothered by LED light bulbs. There's got to be something to do with the wavelength of the light that it produces, or, I don't know. Someone's got to know what it is. Somebody, if you know, tell me. I'm curious because I don't know. Yeah, this is this is interesting. There is 100% no flicker, which is super rare. So it's very good quality in that respect. If I'm not looking right at it, I don't experience any discomfort from this. I bet I would be able to use this. Maybe I'll put it in a lamp somewhere down here and and I'll try it out because it's perfectly good to use with filming because it doesn't produce any banding on the camera because it's not flickering something awful. And as far as the brightness goes for a 40 watts bulb, I've got a 40 watts incandescent equivalent halogen over here, which is rated for, oh, how much are those rated for? 600 lumens, I think. And it looks to me like it's about the same. This claims to be 450 lumens. No, that can't be 600 lumens. It's got to be less than that. I can't see it because there's so much junk in the way. Um, that one is not a... Oh, wait a minute. No, that's wrong. It's a 29 watts halogen, which is a, six, a 40 watts incandescent equivalence. And I don't remember what... Uh, um, lumens output it claims to be. I don't think I have one here. Nah, I can't find it. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm looking at this other one and it seems to be about the same brightness. So, overall, I'd say this is a pretty good bulb. I'm going to have to try it in a lamp with a shade and see if it gives me a headache. I might be able to use this one.